Okie dokie, transfer news, it's the international break, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the RDA and uh, yeah, Eric Bailey, the situation surrounding him, so article in the Daily Mail uh, talking about Manchester United's uh, defender from the Ivory Coast, I believe he is 25 years of age at the moment, Eric Bailey contemplating a new contract offer from Manchester United, the defender, the Ivorian defender feels largely disrespected and unused by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and they even go on to say that he's had enough and he believes that this offer is disrespectful because they think it's just to increase his asking price, in other words to increase his value. So there's two ways you can look at Eric Bailey, uh, the contract extension of Eric Bailey. Um, I'm going to try and make this video as short as possible, but I'm going to try and look at it from the perspective of what I would do if I was Eric Bailey, what I think is actually best for Manchester United, and then obviously just, just my general thoughts around um, what I think Manchester United are trying to do. Now, Manchester United always seem to try and uh, hold on to their assets. Lots of clubs do this. I mean, we gave Lingard a year extension when he had one year left on his contract just before we sent him out on loan to uh, West Ham. So from a business point of view, strictly from a business point of view, that is not a bad thing. You should always extend the contracts of your players so that unless they, they're worth nothing, then you just let them go for free. Uh, you know, if you really don't want them at the club and you fall out for whatever reason. But I think giving players a contract and locking them down is always uh, generally speaking a good idea because you then get to sell them on later on and get more value. The last thing you want is to be trying to sell a player who has one year left on his contract and then he just runs the contract down and you don't get anything for him. The problem I have with Manchester United and the way we do it is we chuck a lot of money at players, which is wrong because then you have players like Eric Bailey on high wages. You have players like Marcus Rojo on high wages. Now Rojo will probably go to, uh, he's, he's already gone actually, he's left Manchester United. Um, but look at what happened with the situation with Phil Jones, for example. Um, there's been multiple examples over the last few years of players at Manchester United that are classed as deadwood because they're on extremely high wages and it's hard to sell them on. Alexis Sanchez is probably the best example of all. Now, Alexis Sanchez is a little bit different because he won the back-to-back -back player of the year and when he came to Manchester United, the price seemed justifiable at the time. As crazy as it was to the rest of the football community and even some United fans, to be fair, some of us, not me included, but some of us in this fan base, we're like, you know what, 400k a week is kind of mad, but it's Alexis Sanchez. You want, you want the best player in the league, pay the big bucks. He was not the best player in the league when he came to Manchester United. And uh, I never really believed Alexis Sanchez was the best player in the league. I never really believed Eden Hazard was the best player in the league. I never really believed Ozil was the best player, midfielder in the world when he came um, to... On his day, maybe, but when he came. All these players, I just think they, they, they were really, really good in their particular systems and the teams they played in. And once they moved to another team all their weaknesses got exploited and I don't we'll never really know what happened with Alexis Sanchez but the reality is this the bringing this back to Eric Bailey I think there is a huge huge difference between paying someone like Paul Pogba a lot of money paying someone like David De Gea a lot of money paying someone like Alexis Sanchez a lot of money versus paying someone like Eric Bailey now would I leave if I was Eric Bailey yes I would I would. I would look for a move from Manchester United. I think, and it's sad. It's sad because I've said this about a lot of United play, players, which I'll get onto later on in the international break. But it's sad. It's sad because I think Eric Bailey has been a positive influence in the United dressing room. You look at all the influence he's had, the, the relationship he had with Zlatan Ibrahimovic. The, all the videos on Instagram and, and social media of those two clowning around in the dressing room. The relationship he has with Ahmed Diallo. And I don't know if that's because of nationality, but even if he wasn't uh, from the same country as Eric Bailey, I'm sure they would have a great relationship either way. Uh, the relationship he had with Lukaku, the relationship uh, he seems to have with the entire dressing room. Eric Bailey is a loved figure in that dressing room. And I don't know what the situation is with Ole Gunnar and Eric Bailey, but clearly... Eric Bailey does not get used by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and he's not the only one. He's not the only one. But like I said, I'll get to the rest of them um, later on this week. But so for me, if I was Eric Bailey, I would leave. Now for Manchester United, I don't know what keeping Eric Bailey at this club longer does. You know, yes, you want to keep the, the asset and yes, you want to get some sell on value for the asset. But who's going to buy Eric Bailey if we give him a two year contract extension, a one year contract extension, and then we don't use him? Like we have to use him. We have to show to the people that want to buy Eric Bailey, like, yo, we're paying this guy upwards of 100k a week, 
but look at what you're getting. He's playing week in, week out in the Premier League. He's playing week in, week out in Europe. And he's actually getting minutes and he's doing well. He's getting clean sheets, etc., etc. I don't see who is going to spend the money on Eric Bailey at the moment, especially if he gets an increase on his wage and his contract is extended by upwards of two years, maybe. I don't see who, who's going to buy him. I don't see who's going to pay those wages. And it's the same old issue with Manchester United, isn't it? But... Um, We'll just have to wait and see. And uh, just very, very quickly, lastly, just before I end off the video, I think the way Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has used him has been an absolute disgrace. Uh, it's been an absolute disgrace. Now, I am a huge advocate of a manager doing whatever the hell they want and sticking to it and sticking to their guns um, because they're the manager. I'm not the manager of the club. But at the same time, Eric bailey has been fit this season. Luke Shaw had injury problems. Luke Shaw doesn't have injury problems anymore. Oh, well, he might still have injury problems, but he's he's managed to stay fit this season. Marcus Rashford has had injury problems. Paul Pogba has had injury problems. There's been a number of players in this Manchester United squad who 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 usually have injury problems, who typically have injury problems around specific times of the season that get overused by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Then there's players like Eric Bailey who get underused. So when people say the reason why Solskjaer doesn't play Bailey is because of injury problems, well then why does he play Pogba so much? And yes, I know you. You're going to be like, but Marcus, you're an idiot because Pog was one of our best players. Fine. Why did he play? But why did he play Luke Shaw so much? Luke Shaw wasn't one of our best players before the season. So why did he play Luke Shaw so much? You know what I mean? It's like a double standard. You, you're going to run Maguire and Lindelof into the ground on the premise that you don't want to play this guy who's injury prone, but he hasn't been injured all season, really. He hasn't really been injured all season. The one injury I remember him getting was because of a car accident. So that's not his problem. I mean, that's not that's got nothing to do with the injuries he has on the pitch. So I don't understand the logic behind this manager. Like he plays, he overplays certain players and he, he disregards certain players' injury records on the premise that they're important to the team. But then he won't play one of our best centre-backs, undoubtedly, next to Harry Maguire. And Harry Maguire, look, I'm a huge fan of Lindelof. I'm a huge fan of Lindelof. Anyone who watches the channels knows I love Victor Lindelof more than Harry Maguire. But it's not even about that. Whether you pick Harry Maguire or Lindelof, Eric Bailey makes either of them better because he complements both of them. Maguire and Lindelof individually are okay centre-backs, but together they don't work. So for me, Eric Bailey being used is a no-brainer. Twanzebe being used is a no-brainer, but I'm just going to end the video off there. Let me know what you think of Eric Bailey potentially leaving the club. And uh, it's been your boy Triple M. Peace.